They say chips were invented when someone sent back his fried potatoes, complaining the slices were too thick. The insulted chef cut them paper thin and fried them to a crisp. So pride, not necessity, was the mother of this invention. Potato chips have since become the consummate snack food. They have to be made with fresh potatoes, no more than 24 hours old. Otherwise, the chips will have black spots. After a brushing machine removes the dirt, the potatoes travel along a water canal to the peeler. They tumble around and around against the peeler's abrasive rollers until the skins come off. This machine can peel 12,000 pounds of potatoes per hour. Next stop, a machine that separates the potatoes by size. The small ones fall below to be rinsed. The larger ones stay on top to be cut. Then they fall down to the rinser too. Next, the potatoes go through slicers. The slicer's blades are adjustable. They can be set to different thicknesses or to different shapes to slice ripple chips, for example. The centrifugal force created by the spinning throws the potatoes against the sharp blades. To make regular chips, they cut slices six one hundredths of an inch thick. An average potato will yield about 36 chips. Finally, it's time to wash the potato slices. They spin inside a giant barrel of cold, fresh water for about a minute. Then, like at the car wash, the slices pass under an air blower to dry up the excess water. The fryer contains canola oil boiling at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes just three minutes to fry the potato slices into potato chips. As the chips exit the fryer on the conveyor belt, the excess oil drips off. Next, a shower of salt. The chips then move on to the sorter. An electronic camera identifies any chips that have brown spots or other defects. The camera then triggers the thin pipe directly above that bum chip to blow it off the conveyor belt with air pressure. Elsewhere in the factory, they're making another popular snack food, cheesies. They take corn flour and mix it with water. An extrusion machine forces the mixture through round holes. When the snake-like streams come out the other end, a knife cuts them into pieces. The heat in the machine then causes the flour in those pieces to explode, creating slightly curled puffs. They spray those puffs with a mixture of canola oil, powdered cheese and natural colorings. A revolving drum mixes it all together. Back in the chips department, they spray the potato chips with powdered seasonings, which simulate flavors such as barbecue or salt and vinegar. The next machine separates and weighs the portions to be packaged. chips drop into bags that are then heat sealed. It's taken about 15 minutes to go from raw potato to potato chips. A lot longer than it takes to eat them.